Hello, my name is Chris Hipton and I will show you how to enter your Excel data into SPSS, which you'll need to do for your practical. So if you go on to the HC426 um, Moodle page and then go down to practical 2, at the bottom you'll find practical 2 data. If you click on it, you'll be able to download the Excel spreadsheet and go enable editing. And then you'll notice that your Excel spreadsheet is set out in three columns. Participant one, um, approach, and then average grade. Now, the first way I'm going to show you is how to do this manually. So what we're going to do is we're going to load up SPSS. And then we wait for the SPSS to load. You'll find that we want to go into variable view and we want to set up our variables. So first of all, we want participant. So I'll copy participant. But in name, the name of variable, we want to, I always type in P no. If you notice, SPSS will not like spaces. So at the moment it will accept that. But if I put a space in between, it will say variable name contains legal characters. So it's important that whenever you set it up, um, you have name with just no spaces in. Then you can paste in participant number, or you can type in participant number into label view and you can have as many spaces as you want. Okay. Uh, uh, for values, we don't want anything. It's just a continuous set of information. Um, if we did have any missing data, you'd enter your missing data in there. And then for measurement, you want minimal. For participant number, it's only for reference, so we don't really need to have that much information in. The next variable we'll want to set up is something called approach. It's right, okay, approach, and then, yeah, and then you can type it in, and then you can type in. Learning. And what you'll see here is it's been set up in a number of kind of words, so you've either got strategic surface or deep. Now what we need to do is we need to look here and you'll see that the type of data is numeric which is correct and we want to go back uh, to what it says strategic or whatever and we'll just copy the strategic one and we then want to go on to values and there's like a, a double blue click, uh, blue dots here. Click on them, and I want to say value one, and you can type it in, or and just click paste, and then click add. Okay. Then we want to go back here, and we want to look for the next one, which is surface, and we want to enter in a two. And we want to do paste that in there and then add. And then finally, we want to go on to this and copy deep and then paste that in and put the number three. Bear in mind you've got the options of spelling, not too confident with spelling, and then just click add. If you wanted to change one. You can go on the change, or you can if you wanted to change the spelling, you can change it there and then click change. I don't want to do that. Okay, and then once you've done that, 
you've set up your variables um, on the approach variable. Next, you want to change it to nonimal because it's categorical data. And then finally, we want to set up our continuous variable, which is average grade. Now remember, it doesn't like spaces, so I'm just going to go with the a, uh, AG, and then in label, I'm going to paste average grade. Okay, and that can be scale data as um, it's just um, as it's continuous and a scale, um, and then you don't need any human values. So with that in mind. We can start copying it. What I'm going to do is just highlight all this data. Go right down to the bottom. Hit copy. And then go onto AG, as I called it, and click paste. Now, I made sure that when I did paste, I did Control V, but equally, could just do right click and paste like so. Okay, um, so that's how to paste in that variable. Uh, I'll do participant number next because that's a little bit easier one. So I just highlight the data we're interested in and make sure that I've only got numbers in there because if I accidentally copied one of the titles, then SPSS wouldn't like that and would throw up a wobbly. Okay, so I, I then do Control V or right click and do paste to paste in the, the numbers there. We then have a slightly tricky one because I've told SPSS that it should be expecting numerical data. Now this is what's known as now these are kind of words or or in computer speak it's what's known as string data. And because of that, if I highlight and copy this, you'll find that all you get is a line of zeros. And that's because SPSS thinks, oh, I can't cope with this. You know, I was expecting numbers and you've given me letters. I just can't cope. I'll just put zeros that I can't cope. So in actual fact, all I'm going to do, I'm just going to go down here, go to the very end, and just go delete. And what I need to do is put those numbers in Excel, sorry, those words into numbers. To do that, I do Control F. So control and then F. Oh, I make sure I've clicked on it. Do control F. And I go for the first one, which is strategic. I go copy and then I go and paste. If I wanted to, I could type it in, but there's always a risk that you misspell it. And then it won't work. Then I go find what? Strategic and then replace with one. I then do replace it, and then that replaces all the strategics with one. I then close and then go down to surface and then do control F and replace control F with the number two. I then do replace it. And then close that, I then go on to deep, I then go control C to copy, I then go control F, control uh, V, and then I go and place it with three. I then go replace it. What I've now done is I've now replaced the data with numbers. So what I can now do is highlight all that data in, in uh, Excel, 
So copy. And then go right the way back up to the top variable. And then go control V. Oh, no. And then go control V. And it will paste it all in. If you notice, it's appeared as as words, but if you want to change that to letters or numbers even, go on to view and then value labels and that changes it to numbers. Okay, so that's how to convert the approach and Excel spreadsheet into an SPSS spreadsheet because you can now do whatever you need to do using analyze and descriptive statistics in this part of the video i will show you how to do the second technique which is to do it automatically using spss so personally i always try to do it manually if i can but sometimes if you've got a lot of data you can't so you have to hand over control to spss so once again i'll download the data Okay, and then I'll go enable editing. And I'm going to save this data on my desktop to make it a bit easier to find. Okay, so I just go save. It's on my desktop. I then go onto SPSS. And go cancel and then I want to go file open data and then I want to go to my desktop which is just there and then I want to choose this drop down menu here and go for Excel uh, so we go for practical to data and we go open And then it will come up with a message saying, read variable names from the first row. Yep, that's right. Because if you think about it, the first row would be this one, which is where all the variable names are. Um, you then want to say what sheet you want. Just leave it as blank. Uh, just leave it as that. Don't change it. We essentially just want the first one. And then you want to just click OK. I'll then say get data and then you'll see that you've got a participant number down here you've got the deep approaches to learning you've got the surface and other approaches to learning and then you've got average grade but if you go into variable view you'll find that um, it's set it as a string. So what you can do is, for the start, you can delete all the irrelevant um, uh, data, such as V4 to V11. And you can do that by just here and here. We then want to change approach from string to numeric because we can't do anything with string, we can with numeric. So to do that, we go transform uh, and then you want auto recode. You want to move approach into there and I'm just going to call it you can't call it exactly the same name but you can call it something like approach to and then click on add name and then click on OK okay it tells you here that it's made deep one strategic two and surface three so this is similar to what we did in Excel 
And if you look at the values here, you'll find the values do the same. What I would do now is I would take this string value here, right click and choose clear. So we now know that we're not going to get confused. What you might also want to do is just check that you've lined up all your variables correctly. So you've got average grade as being scale, participant, I would argue you want anonymous, and approach, you want to make sure that's anonymous as well. Okay, and then once you've got that, you've then got your data set out like this. And you're able to do your analysis on in the same way. Okay, so that is two different techniques for um, transferring your data from Excel to SPSS. Uh, which technique you use is up to you, but um, I personally prefer to do it manually. But um, good luck with your practical.